If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before moving on. In order to calculate the magnitude of the system's acceleration, we're going to treat the three blocks as one single system and draw a free body diagram of that system. We will concentrate our attention to the x direction because that is the direction in which the objects are accelerating. In other words, there is no acceleration in the y direction, so we can neglect those forces. Now, the only force acting in the x direction on the system would be T3. We can even see that from the picture. Notice there that we've circled the three blocks. The only force that's sort of sticking out of that circle is the T3 force that's pointing to the right. Also notice that the mass of the system would simply be the sum of the individual masses, which were given to us in the question as 12, 24, and 31 kilograms. And when we add those together, we get a mass of system equal to 67 kilograms. We can now apply Newton's second law in the x direction, which of course tells us that the net force is equal to ma. And again, the only force acting in the x direction on the system is T3. We were given that value, and then we also know the mass of the system, so we can solve for a. And when we solve for a, we get approximately 0.970 meters per second squared as the acceleration of the system. So part a is solved. Now, the key idea is that now that we have the acceleration of the system, that acceleration would apply individually to each block separately from one another. So what we can do to find T1 is draw a free body diagram of just mass 1. And again, in the x direction, the only force acting is T1. We're going to ignore the y direction because there's no acceleration there. We can write out Newton's second law. We'll then plug in the net force and the mass. And then we'll plug in the value of m1, which was given to us as 12 kilograms. And then the acceleration we had found as 0.97 meters per second squared. And when we compute this, we should get a value for t1 of approximately 11.6 newtons. And that is the correct answer to part b. Now, to find the tension t2, there would be a couple of ways of doing it. One way would be to treat blocks m1 and m2 as a single system. And if we look carefully, we can then see that the only force acting on that system would be the T2 force, which is what we're trying to solve. So let's try that approach. So here is the free body diagram of the system. Note that because the system incorporates both M1 and M2, that we would have to add together the masses to get the total mass of the system. And if we do that, we get 36 kilograms. Now, recalling that the acceleration was 0.97, we can turn to Newton's second law for a third time. And then we just plug in the mass of our system of 36 kilograms and the acceleration of 0.97 meters per second squared. And T2 turns out to be approximately 34.9 Newtons. And that is indeed the correct answer to part C. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.